New York state and city politicians had a steamy, smelly, shaky shared experience riding subway trains together for 12 straight hours. We're interested in getting at the heart of it. And they sweated on the platforms, quizzing strap hangers about fears, delays, and other inconveniences. So are you getting delayed? Are you almost every day? I hope they do something about it. This is research before the city council holds a hearing next week on the summer of hell transit problems, where they will put state and MTA officials on the hot seat, deciding how to pitch in, potentially with more city funding. On their tour, the city and state leaders visited many stations that have elevators and escalators, but they also saw some stations that don't have these. Disabled iron worker Raymond Acevedo of Queens struggled on the stairs of the East Broadway station on the F line. I can't walk. I, you know, I'm in really bad. I'm really bad off. New York Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg conceded the state and city must do better. It's quite costly to come back into our very old stations and retrofit them with elevators. Elevators and escalators, but I think we all agree more needs to be done there. Commuters say they are tired of talk and finger pointing at each other from Mayor de Blasio and Governor Andrew Cuomo. They want it to stop. Instead of going back and forth over who's the most responsible, both the city and the state should be working together. Commuters tell these leaders until you ride regularly every day, you don't know what we know. In Lower Manhattan, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. And part two of the tour continues all day tomorrow in Queens and Brooklyn.